Hello the audience, before we start, uh, I just wanted to say how hard it is to edit this series, because uh, the whole concept of portals gets exponentially harder when you have to worry about, you know, timing, entertaining things correctly, and basically time travel at certain points. Oh, shit. So yeah, this is what I'm doing. Uh, I have a plan. Did I do it? Nah, damn it. Close. I gotta place a portal. Right there! Yes, got it. Oh, I'm here. Okay, whatever. Um, now where do I go? Right up there. Uh, so a little refresher, if you haven't already noticed, apart from Doug Ratman, there have been no evidence of human life, also. Ratman's pointing me up there. There have been no evidence of human life apart from me and Ratman, and we haven't even seen each other yet, so... You know, lore. Folklore. I haven't even gotten to Portal 2 and I'm making references. Whatever, I've been making references this whole time. So yeah, there's there's like a way that you can like hop in between these, and that's how you like complete the game with a minimum amount of portals. And now I just have to like, oh, I can just fire through those. I don't think I should be able to, but I can. Over here. Aha. <laughs> I'm a portaling genius. I fucking love this game, by the way. Please, if you haven't, pick this up. Again, it is if you have a computer, it is free. And then this, I would say, basically just comes with, you know, Half-Life 2 for free on the orange box. So, I would suggest getting the orange box as well. So you can kind of hear what she's saying. Gosh, and this equipment starts and stops automatically. Okay. That seemed a bit familiar. Yeet. Alright, Doug. Oh, God. We're good. Another right man done right here. Help. Beans. Water. A lot of water. Beans. Speaking of water, there appears to be no evidence of where it comes out. Uh oh. Luckily I know what to do here, but... Yep, yeah, that starts opening, and then you hide behind the barrels to see what's up. It's a turret! And then this one opens up. Yeah! And then... You go up here, and you notice that this is a different arrow! Haha! -ha. Ta da! Oh! You know that, right? Good people, don't stand up here. See? Can you hear me? <laughs> Same line as before. Okay, that's another good person. So this this turret is broken. Target lost. You can't even, can't even shoot me. Please put me down. Aww. Okay. Are you still there? Yes. This is also broken. Searching. Not never, but now. Okay. So then this is just like turrets being built or whatever. Again, most of the turret stuff that you see in the background gets retconned later, you'll see. Uh, alright, let's just get over to that side. Whoa! The fuck was that? Excuse me? I think I get what, what happened there. Anyway, let's go above it. Let's get on top of here. Yeet. Alright, here we go. There we in here. This looks very similar to the turret thing. And lo and behold, it's a turret. What's up? 
Ah, that's what's up. Aww. Aww. They're so cute. So that's a thing now, and you just go straight through it, but... I need to go like this. Had a lot of practice with this, and watched it for like a good hour, because that's how long that bonus clip took to edit. This is your fault. It didn't have to be like this. I'm not kidding now. Turn back, or I will kill you. Oh shit, she's threatening actual death that time. I'm going to kill you, and all the cake is gone. <gasps> you don't even care, do you? No. This is your last chance. Absolute bitch. Oh shit. I'm trying to see what's on there. Is that... Is that actually what that is? Oh, wow. See that thing in the bottom right? That's... That's a Portal 2 thing. That is... Wow, alright, cool. World building. Uh, yeah. And that's the... It's a copy of the clipboard that we had in the original one. This one here. So... Anticipation girl. So yeah, this incinerates literally everything. What does this guy do? <laughs> the turret with a knife. So yeah, it, it's a rocket turret. They aren't in Portal 2, so we'll see everything they do. They lock on, and then they you can move. So yeah. There's a little instruction there. I like how it introduces it in a perfectly safe environment, no matter what you can do, you will never get hit by it, and then we already know it can break glass, so... Let's place one here. I suppose that is how doors work. Aha! Now this is where a lot of people usually get stuck for whatever reason. <coughs> so you need to go up here, but there's no, like, thing to go up here. And, you know, there's no other thing. And then, unfortunately, people have tried to, like, you know, portal their way up or do, like, really glitchy things or even just stack, like, tiny boxes around the place and, like, climb up. And the sad part is that actually works sometimes. But how you're actually supposed to solve it is kind of cool. Lock on. Haha. <laughs> there you go. Now you have a cube. Ta da! And then in order to not get chopped in half by the fan. Whoa! This area will come into play in the last episode, trust me. But right now it's a weird, disgusting sewer. Pow. Pow. Uh, yes. Okay. Hey, this feels familiar. I can't jump in this, by the way. Ugh. Making it like a really accurate description. Alright, whatever. So I think you know what's about to happen. Those are exactly the things that turrets popped out of, so... Now they're all opening. Okay. Yep. Pop in. Kill the turret. See, turrets, they... The, the thing is, it, with this, is that the turrets are never looking at each other. So I can theoretically hop from room to room and only have to worry about the turret that I have to kill. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, fuck. So this is, this room is just basically, you know, checking how well you can, like, handle a stressful situation. Or to put it in other words, how well you can stay resolute in an, atmos in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Okay, I'll tell you what. The second reach. There we go. I think that's all of them. Yep. 
See? Long fall boots. Okay. Yeah, that, that was all of them. So now, if you can tell, these two are angled. So I can do this. And then this. And almost. Almost got there, but... Oh, yeah! And then I will show you the speedrunning strategy in just a moment. Oh, yes, that's right. Okay. So, as you can see, there's a portal surface here, and you use that for a puzzle in a sec, but I will show you the speedrunning strategy, which is this. And then you're up here. <laughs> so, that's not how you're supposed to do it, obviously. But you can! And just because I can, I now will. Uh, again. Hehe. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Anyway. Puzzle time. And by puzzle, I mean, again, just remaining resolute in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. And then, I think from here, you have to use that same strategy. Wee. Ta da. Oh, shit. Uh, maybe place that a tad lower. Or just go through the floor, one of the two. Whoa! <laughs> so, yeah. Doesn't save too much time, but it, it saves enough. You can get up there, I think, using methods. Uh, but there's nothing really to do up there. Just more platforms. Uh, so, this is where... <coughs> Yeah, this is where uh, the last episode of the series, uh, part four, theoretically, is going to start right in this room. And if you've played Portal before, you know exactly why. If you haven't, then you're just confused. Okay. Or if you've played Portal before and then don't know all the glitches and stuff, then you're still very confused. So this is interesting. So that is a big room and very intimidating. I'll bring a chair for self-defense. So not gonna spoil anything, but there she is. That's GLaDOS. Well you found me. Giant Congratulations. Robot. Was it worth it? Because despite your violent behavior, Android. the only thing you've managed to break so far Cyborg? is my heart. Maybe you could settle for that, and we'll just call it a day. I guess we both know that isn't going to happen. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five, four. Time out for a second. That wasn't supposed to happen. Do you see that thing that fell out of me? What is that? It's not the surprise. I've never seen it before. Never mind. It's a mystery I'll solve later. <laughs> By myself. Because you'll be dead. Where are you taking that thing? So, uh, yeah, basically this I is... I wouldn't bother with that thing. Yeah, My guess is that touching it will just make your life even worse, somehow. So there's only three things in this room. That sphere, that button, and that openy thing. And that openy thing is I the same thing that she business, used to destroy our, our companion cube. How about we destroy her thing? Ah, oh, well. It closed. Do you think I'm trying to trick you with reverse psychology? I mean, seriously now. So now, just pop through here. Yeet that in the thing. Okay, fine. You are kidding me. Did you just set that aperture science thing we don't know what it does into an aperture science emergency intelligence incinerator? Yes, I that did. has got to be the dumbest thing that whoa, 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 whoa. <coughs> Oh cake. Good news. I figured out what that thing you just incinerated did. It was a morality core they installed after I flooded the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin to make me stop flooding the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin. So get comfortable while I warm up the neurotoxin emitters. Huh. That core may have had some ancillary responsibilities. I can't shut off the turret defenses. Oh well. If you want my advice, you should just lie down in front of a rocket. Trust me. 
It'll be a lot less painful than the neurotoxin. So I won't go over exactly how to do this, All but right. I think you get the gist Doing with hit her with a rocket. Ah, uh, you should probably be more precise than that, yeah. Exclusive. The rocket really is the way to there we go. go. There we go. So now that thing hovers over the core hovers over there. So I'll go over slightly what these guys are because I won't go over them in the last episode. This is a this is the curiosity core. Uh, oh my god. He's the point of him is that he's annoying, which I fully agree with. He's fucking irritating. But yeah, he's based on like a uh, a viral video that was released in like 2008 or some stupid shit, and it was a, of a goldfish just being fairly curious. And there we go, fire. So that wasn't good. That wasn't a nice noise. Ah. I let you survive this long because I was curious about I'm actually just talking about. I'm like, oh, I'm not dying when she's clearly dying. Okay. Now that's up there on that platform. Wee. Okay, so this call core is called Wheatley because he actually says the cake recipe. He couldn't come because you murdered him. All your other friends couldn't come either because you It's, it's the fucked up recipe. It's got a lot of fish shapes. Fish shaped stuff. Okay, he's screaming as well. So yeah, I have three and a half minutes to finish off GLaDOS. When I said deadly neurotoxin, the deadly was in massive sarcasm quote. Okay, and now it's just sort of hovering there, so now we have to, like, hit it. Boom! So, I don't remember what this guy's called, but I think he's called the Demon Core. Can you guess why? <laughs> so, if they each control an aspect of GLaDOS, theoretically this should destroy GLaDOS's demoniness. And murdery. Yes, whatever. Kill it. So now it's no. So now she's going and cycling through all the rest of the dialogue that she didn't say during the battle. And now she's very dead. And so am I. <laughs> so now we're finally free. Also that hoop on the left, I'll talk about it in a sec. Um, I'll talk about it now, actually. So, it's a common misconception. Like, anytime you ask someone, like, oh, what's your obscure knowledge about Portal? It's a common misconception that the creators of the game expected that hoop to be a meme. And then, basically, just if you go to, like, the interview, like, read the transcript, you can tell that it's definitely sarcastic. They fully intended the cake as a lie to be the meme, and the hoop was completely irrelevant. They were just fucking with us. So... It's a misconception that that was ever intended to be a meme, but... Ooh, what's that in the middle? Also, there are a lot of cores. <laughs> it's the cake! And the companion cube. And all the cores are turning on. Okay, I'm probably going to stay silent for this, but this is one of the greatest credit sequences in gaming history, so I'm just going to unplug my mic. This was a triumph. I'm making a note here. Huge success. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. Aperture science. 
We do what we must because we can. For the good of all of us, except the ones who are dead. But there's no sense crying over every mistake. You just keep on trying till you run out of cake. Then the science gets done and you make a neat plan for the people who are still alive. I'm not even angry. I'm being so sincere right now. Even though you broke my heart and killed me, I'm torn into pieces and threw every piece into a pile. Yes, they burned, it hurt because I was so happy for you. Now these coins of data make a beautiful. So there you have it, GLaDOS is very not dead, and I finished this episode much faster than I expected to. So, tell you what, I will uh, get back to you. Um, this game has an interesting thing that not a lot of games have. It has a fan-made um, ending. Uh, now, if you're sane, then you probably realize that a fan-made ending couldn't possibly be in a legitimate you know, proper release of a game. But it is. Uh, completely unintentionally. Uh, so I'm going to get what's been nicknamed the good ending. Uh, it has another nickname because it spoils, but it kind of spoils what I'm going to do. So I will get back to you in that one room that I said that we'd be going to. Hell yeah. Okay. Welcome back. So yeah, just had to kind of speed run up to this room. Not as good as most people. But, actually, what you're supposed to do in this room, or not what you're supposed to do, but what you can do in this room, is that. And now starts the long and arduous process, I'm going to save. Now starts the long and arduous process of getting somewhere, so now we are out of bounds. Okay. So remember that portal thing that we did a while ago? Yeah what we're going to do. And now, remember how I said that portals take a long time to travel? <laughs> yeah. Oh. No! Ah, I fucked it up, didn't I? So, yeah, the, the real challenge here is the fact that we're navigating not only out of bounds, but also in the dark. It's also very laggy. Oh, come on. All right, there we go. There, there's the cake. So yeah. I don't remember exactly how to do this, so just kind of cut to when I figure it out.
Oh, am I in? I'm in. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Right, okay. Okay. <laughs> so, we are now in with the cube and the cake. That is not all, though. Of course it doesn't fucking end there. Come on. I gotta... And then I can put the cube on top of the cake. There we go. Okay, and now, from here... I portal back out, and now starts the process of getting back. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna save, despite that probably not being a good idea. I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay. Needs to be up there. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, there is... Yeah, see, there's the backdrop. There's, there's the above ground stuff. None of that is actually like has hitboxes or anything so you can't to go over to it. But now we need to do the same thing that we did before on this thing. You can do this in the other room that I would like the sewer area um, which has these on it as well but I'm going to use this one because it is closer and I don't see the other one at the moment. There it is, okay. I need to be very careful to hit the edge of this, not the bottom. I think I hit the bottom. Nope, hit the edge. Okay. Now I need to make my way over to that one. So that when I pop out I don't instantly fall into goop. Okay. Ooh, that is dangerous. I feel like this is wrong, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Oh, <gasps> it worked! Oh my god, yes, fucking finally! Now we just have to get up to GLaDOS and not die. That's gonna be real easy. Okay, it'll auto save at some point. I know that. There we go. Okay, fucking finally, we're back. We're, we're back to the, the room that we never have to leave again, apart from out this door. Bad way of saying that, whatever. I am now going to finish off GLaDOS super fast. There is a more fast way of doing this, but I accidentally killed all of the turrets. So basically, the way that you do it is you place a turret here, make the turret shoot GLaDOS before the boss fight even starts, oh, and me. then chuck them all in at once. Was it worth it? Yep. Because despite your violent behavior, the only thing that you can do is to fuck with the car. Maybe you can still go back and do all the same. Maybe you can still go back and do all the same. Maybe you can still go back and do all the same. Maybe you can still go back and do all the same. Maybe you can still go back and do all the same. Maybe you can still go back and do all the same. Well, you managed to that I'm correct, you just said that four, eight, four, ten. Logically, yes, because one v one. No, no, it's eight, thirteen. I don't know. Uh, already there. Oh, come on, man. You just have to wait on the material. Now you don't have a light. No. There we go. Okay, so for the most part, the ending's the same, but you'll see what happens in a sec. You can also crash the game by going through, like, the r orange portal up there. 
and then coming out the blue one. And you can also crash it by standing under any of these things, so it's not exactly the most well-designed thing, but, you know. Portal 2 is much better. And... Poopy, there we go. There's our handiwork. I love what happens next. <laughs> Ta da! This is literally it, by the way. The game soft locks here. So this is <laughs> this is considered the good ending. It again not supposed to happen, but all the cutscenes are in engine, so this happens. <laughs> so yeah. Uh good night everybody.